using a word problem. So in this example, it says a clothing manufacturer finds the number of defective blouses. So D equals number of defective blouses. Whenever I'm doing word problems, I always want to write in, if they're giving me a variable and they tell me what the variable is, if the variable is defined, then I want to write that down. Um, D is a function of the total number of blouses n produced by the factory. So n equals total number of blouses produced. And they give us a function of d equals 0 0.12345 5 n squared. OK, so that's the function that the factory produces. Um, so then question letter A says, what is the total number of blouses? So then what are they asking? If they're asking for what is the total number. Which variable are they looking for? Which one says the total number? N, right? So they're asking us for N. And they're saying when 45 blouses are defective. So which variable represented the defective blouses? D. So therefore, if they give us, if they're asking for n and they're telling us how much d is, you just plug in 45 and for d. Okay. Now you probably would need a calculator for this. Um, so now all I simply need to do is solve. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to solve for n, I need to divide So I do 45 divided by 0.123455. And I get 9 million. Right? Now, how do you solve for n? How do we undo squaring? We need to take the square root. Okay. So you could do say square root, second answer, and you have 3,000, or sorry, plus or minus 3,000. Now, does it make sense to have a negative number, total number? No. So therefore, we're just going to use the positive value, right? It still is plus or minus. That doesn't go away. But since this is a word problem, negative doesn't make sense. You can't have a negative number produced, right? So therefore, it's going to be positive. Does that make sense? Step number two, question number two. It says, um, if the number of defective blouses is decreased or is increased by a factor of 9, how does the total number of blouses change? So if it's increased by a factor of 9, um, increased by a factor of 9 if, would be a multiple, multiple of 9. So basically, I'm going to do this exact same problem, but I'm going to do four, no, okay, 45 times 9, which is 405. So I'll do 405 divided by the exact same number, 0. Uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, ooh, 5. And then I'll take the square root of that answer, and I get 9,000. So um, for letter B, if it's increased, um, increased by a factor of 9, then um, n equals 9,000. So I did 9 times 45, which was um, 405. Did the exact same answer. So how is this increased? By, five, by a factor of 3, right? Well, you could say it's by a factor of 3 um, in this case. So if 1 is increased by a factor of 9, you could see that the n is being factored by 3, which relates to some geometry problems that we've talked about with the squaring. Okay, So you would have said.